In the Brownfield Action Environmental Science Simulation, students investigate the possibility of groundwater contamination in a virtual town called Moraine. The map-based interface shows an aerial overview of the town aligned to an XY coordinate space. Options to view the legend, investigation budget, and collected documents are available. Using the three modes of the simulation, students explore Moraine, meet its government officials, residents, and business owners, and carry out scientific tests. Visual Reconnaissance. In the Visual Reconnaissance mode, students explore Moraine to survey the town's general infrastructure, buildings, and natural geographical features. In this initial site review of the town, the number and nature of the businesses and residences are taken note of, as are locations of water-related municipal complexes. An initial visit to the abandoned factory site that serves as the focal point of the investigation also takes place during visual reconnaissance, site history. After the initial site review of Moraine, students can visit a myriad of locations and interview more than 40 characters in Brownfield Action's site history mode. Questions may be asked of the characters, such as, do you have any reports, permits, or licenses relevant to our investigation of the cell flume property? No but I can tell you what some of the usual drinks are after quitting time. From the interviews and supplementary documents collected throughout the town visits, students piece together a fact-based narrative and build a case for the likelihood of groundwater contamination by the involved parties. Testing. The testing mode allows students to mine an extensive network of data on the subsurface geology and the groundwater system of the town, and it is the final piece of the investigation. Tools in the testing mode range from topographic survey to soil gas sampling and analysis, to magnetometry and drilling. Using the interface for a specified tool, in this case the magnetometry metal detection tool, students collect data by selecting an XY coordinate point on the map to retrieve results for that test. The extensive testing tools in the Brownfield Action Simulation allow students to delineate the nature, source, and extent of any groundwater contamination they may find. From their work with the simulation, Students gain the skills needed to understand and address the complexity and ambiguity of large-scale environmental problems requiring an interdisciplinary approach. Brownfield Action allows students to explore and solve real-world problems in environmental science.